Sup, 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 my name is Reed for the Gear Council. Before we get straight into this video, if I sound a little bit off, I'm still under the weather. I have a sore throat and uh, stomach viral together. So, yeah, just making it clear so in case I sound a little bit off or I sound like I'm not saying something correctly. It's pretty much why my throat's a little swollen. So, Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit. This is where we're going to start this week. Is at $62 when last week it was $65, so $3 decrease is really not going to change the price. So $62 for $65 per Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit. So if you have them, good time to move them if you're not using it. Evil Swarm Exitime Knight, 40 bucks this week on eBay. And moving on, we have Instant Fusion. The common one actually went up in price to $4.25, that's including shipping, where last week it was around $2.75, around 3 bucks. Somewhere flowing around there, and the hollows I believe have gone down a dollar, but they're sitting around 705 uh, to 712, just a base average with the rat. So common infusions worth a little more this week. Hollow infusions worth a little less. Kind of stupid, but it's one of those things that just happens because you would expect the hollow would be more. Red wyvern from High Speed Riders was twenty dollars about a week or two ago when the set was like a day away from being completely out. So, now obviously the price has dropped because more circulation, so $5.98 will net you one of these if you really are looking for this guy. So, Galaxy Cyclone was closer to 40 now a little bit, almost hitting that 35 mark, still sitting at $37.54, so 37 and a half bucks will get you a Galaxy Cyclone, and um, yeah, maybe, maybe it will drop a little more, but Dante, let's talk about Dante real quick from the Megatins has actually dropped, I don't know why that book is coming up, but Dante has actually dropped down from 25, I think it was 25 30 when the Megatons just came out, to 20 and now to $17.50. It would be nice if it was $7.50, wouldn't it? But $17.50 will let you with Dante, and we'll have to see uh, when the band list drops if that affects the price of anything. Fog King. We know when Monarchs are coming. They're coming in January. I didn't put out a video because I was feeling like shit. Um, so we know they're coming in January. So Fog King, four ninety nine. If you're going to be playing Monarchs, if you're playing against Monarchs, I have a guy to your side next week coming out. So Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend Abyss. This is the Red Dragon that can negate stuff. Five dollars fifty cents this week on eBay. So if you're looking to pick them up, the Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend Bane. AKA Bane itself, 12 bucks. So, they're pretty affordable. Pretty much the most expensive card from High Speed Riders is this guy right here, is Cyframe Overlord Omega at $24, uh, $26, because it has the shipping to 30 bucks a piece. So, if you have them, move them. It's pretty much what I'm going to say. Maxi, $13, decrease $7 from about a week ago. So we are seeing a decrease again in Maxi because people catch up on it and they're like, holy crap, that's actually high. Let me go sell mine. Um, effect Valor, $2.92, still at $2.92 to $3. It's going to stay that way for quite a while. Cyframe Lord Zeta. This is actually a very, very generic one, which I'm going to have a Tech Tuesday or something about later down the line. $1.05. And you should pick it up at $1.05. Emergency Teleport. I wish it would have dropped more for the people who don't have it because it's one of those things that Konami should have reprinted a long time ago. 12 bucks. I think it actually has three prints now, which is one is a legendary collection. I'm not fully sure. I don't fully remember if it's in there. I know one is uh, the Dual Genesis, which is the one set I own, and then there's this set that from High Speed Riders. $12 a piece. Not expensive, but again, you know, it's been so long that it needed the reprint that it should have just got in a common print. If you have Psychic Feel Zones, these are now $5.25. They used to be 10 bucks. Uh, that was about a week ago. But they have actually dropped back down to $5.25. You want to make a quick buck? Go sell them. Reasoning why, I'm just going to quickly mention this, is because of side frames. So if you have Psychic Feel Zone, you're in the money. These actually come from Extreme Victory, so again, if you have them, sell them. If you're not going to use them, that is. And then Trish, 30 bucks still. Lose one turn is $22 this week, $3 decrease from last week, and moving on, we have Dragoonie Gay Derg at $23 to $25.99. Now, the reason I constantly bring this guy up, this is like the one thing Konami has constantly, 
constantly left off for reprints, but go figure. And this is something I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, if you have something similar to this, you can apparently sell it for $500. Um, or best offer. Now these are misplay, uh, mis uh, misplay. These are misprinted. You know, you can see with the wording and whatnot, but apparently they're worth five hundred dollars a piece. I just wanted to show you guys that something a little bit different here on stock market. So moving on, I just want to make sure we got the right thing here. Yes, Norton two dollars ninety cents this week on eBay. If you have Nordens, they're still two dollars ninety cents. Cleefort Monolith thirty-seven dollars and ninety-four cents with a dollar ship, putting it at thirty-nine dollars. So, this is the only thing that will basically cost you quite a bit in Cleese. Blackstone of Legend, $32.50 this week on eBay. The, again, that's kind of one of the things Holy Mac Red Eyes make it so expensive. Red Eyes Black, uh, Red Eyes Black Flare Metal Dragon has actually dropped straight down to 13 bucks. So it was at like 20, now it's at 13. So hopefully we'll see that with the redstone because let's be honest, the redstone really shouldn't be worth that much. Um, not, not saying, whatever. You know, just saying it really shouldn't. Big Eye, $23.50 this week on uh, eBay. Daigasu MRL, this actually jumped up and I keep forgetting, like kept forgetting to actually put it here. If you have Daigasu MRL, whether it be Battle Pack, whether it be DT, whether it be Hidden Arsenal, and you're not using it, and you have no plans to use it, sell that shit now. $42.50 for the Battle Pack, and we're going to go down the rest of the prices. The Hidden Arsenal 7, 46 bucks. And then for the DT is going to be through the motherfucking roof at $52.95. Well justified for the DT. Well justified. I thought it was going to be a hell of a lot higher. Um, so $42.50 for a Dick or Morel. Mainly, I want to say it's because of Clown Blade. But I'm not 100% certain. But I'm going to say it's because of Clown Blade. Castell, the Sky uh, Sky Blast from Musketeer, three dollars and forty three cents this week on eBay. So if you are trying to move or trade your promos, that's what it's worth. Uh, El Shadol Construct, fourteen dollars fifty cents to fifteen. Shadol Winda, seven dollars forty cents. So they are still around the same price that they were before. Some of them are dropping. The Cross of Valkyrie is thirty eight dollars seventy four cents this week on eBay. Still forty dollars. Necrolls of Brawnak, twenty four dollars ninety seven cents. Jar of Avarice, again, one of those cards that I constantly always like to skim over and forget to do. $12.99. Cosmo Farm Girl, $60 this week. Is that a little bit cheaper? I think it's a little bit cheaper. It sounds a little bit cheaper. $60 this week on eBay. Moving on. Mistake at $14.49. And finally, Denko Seca or Danky Seca, $15.99. That's it for stock market. Ring that closing bell. It's a New York thing. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out the videos and the adaptations as always. And I will see you on the next video. You have my gratitude for watching Stock Market. If you enjoy it, let me know. And I will see you on the next video as always. But for right now, I'm just going to go lay down because I feel like shit. So if I don't answer your comments, I will when I feel a little bit better. It's not that I don't care. It's just I really don't feel good. And I don't want you guys thinking that you know I'm just ignoring you guys. Love you guys. See you later.